Cross the reels. Oh, here's my sieve. This is an Akuma, so it's shit. This is a Daiwa Shawcast 6000B. Long cast ball. Beautiful piece of kit. Loads of drag. If you want the drag up, you'll get pulled in for um, drag slips. This is a BG 5000. This is for my Abu Garcia um, 10 foot surf spin rod. I've not actually used this one yet, that one's new. This is a Daiwa, both Daiwa, Daiwa. There's a Daiwa a pattern going on. Add 5500. Beautiful reel, casts really well. It's got the same, these have both got the same long cast spool. That's actually 50 pound braid, and this is 30 pound braid. I think that's 20. And this is a big Abu Garcia. Cardinal on the 78i. Loads of grunt, this reel, good and strong. We're actually going to use that with the big dark destroyer over here. If we think there's shark in the area, we'll get this out. So I've got that with a 100 pound leader on it, an 80 pound braid. Right, well, here we are, I'm all loaded up. And I'm heading down to the beach. Um, I'm meeting Mick again, who's in my last video and we're going to go down off the Kaitariti spit somewhere so I'm going to meet him somewhere around Cooper's Lagoon and then um, we'll find a spot we'll get on the beach and find a spot from there so it's blowing southerly all day and yesterday so I'm not sure what the sea conditions are going to be like they might be rougher than a girl from Birmingham but we'll see when we get there Right, well, got down to the beach. This is where we usually put in when we come down this way, and there's been a little bit of a washout. I'm definitely not going to be getting over this. There's another beach access just down the road. Too bad. Dig a channel through here to drain a lot of water out in the summer. So it's shut at the moment. Lake Ellesmere, quite 
dirty. But it's because there's been a lot of rain. So this is the Kaitariti Spit. Runs down basically to here. You can drive this far in a four-wheel drive on the other side. You might have seen the road on the bit of video before. So we're just going to go here somewhere and um, get some rods out. The sea is far from calm, but it's a lot better than we were expecting. Right, so we're just getting the first rod out. So we've got the clip thing on there to explain to this our viewers. A, this is a Gemini uh, clip, splashed on clip. So it holds, it holds the, the hook in place. If you can see there's a little pin, it will just come down yeah. in front of it and that holds it in place. And when the water hits this, it ejects the hook out. Yeah. So we can play with one hook. Sweet. So uh, also we'll be getting our first rig on that, hopefully. Chink. <laughs> These are good for tramping. Well, it's a bit cold out today, so we're hitting the 12 year old whiskey. I've given up fishing already.
to weigh it. This wind is driving in. I think it's dropped just a fraction. The tide has just turned. It should be turning, or it's low tide, something like that. So it's better than being at home. Got to kind of like drop a bit and then you whip it round. Yeah. 